Let's go have the perfect day at Disneyland. Walking into Disneyland Town Square, there's nothing like it. I know she's small and petite compared to the Magic Kingdom, but it just feels magical when you walk in to the OG. This is the one Walt walked in. How can it not be anything but amazing? Oh, it is just magic here. <laughs> be row walking down the street. Be row walking down the street. Hello, horsey. I just love it here so much. Yes, it's very small, like Astro Orbiter is basically sitting in the castle hub, but you gotta love it. And I'm here at Rope Drop. Nice and early. Now for my perfect day, I'm a Disney Worlder, so I prioritize stuff I can't do anywhere in Disney World. Which means, my first stop is Fantasyland to do a bunch of the classic dark rides that don't take Genie Plus, since it's my perfect day. I'm trying to skip some lines. So Genie Plus has been purchased, but we're gonna go knock out some of these amazing classics, get us right in the nostalgia feels to start the day. We are here. We're in Fantasyland. It's so whimsical and wonderful, and it's soon to be a nightmare when we go on all these terrifying children's rides. Pretty much the only ride that gets a long line here is Peter Pan's Flight. It's similar to Disney World. It will always be popular, I guess. Um, but we're going to do some of the other Disneyland rides, and we're going to kick things off. I think it makes sense with Snow White's Enchanted Wish. This is a reimagined version of the original but it's also Walt Disney's first animated classic, so it just feels right to be the first thing we do in Disneyland. Get the bachelor card! Snow White's Enchanted Wish. It brings tears to my eyes at the end. It's so beautiful and sweet and magical. We're headed over now to knock out Alice in Wonderland, which is probably the second most popular of these little fantasy land rides, and it also doesn't take Genie Plus, so I want to make sure I ride it without too long of a wait. belongs to Monstro the Whale, and it is the entrance to the Storybook Canals, which is one of the cutest Disney attractions ever built. Basically, you get on these little tiny boats piloted by a cast member, and you scoot on through tiny versions of a lot of your favorite Disney movies uh, and Disney characters. So you'll see a little version of Agrabah and Arendelle and J. Thaddeus Toad's Hall, and it's just really cute and quaint, and it just 
is everything that's good about Disneyland is this ride. It's it's adorable. What amazes me about this attraction is that they have to perfectly weight the boats. Because these are real boats. And it's hilarious. They'll like tell you where to sit when they're done. They'll tell everyone to stand in unison as to not flip the boats. And it just is so glaringly obvious that this was an opening day ride built in the 50s. They could not build something like that now, and something like that could not exist in Walt Disney World. But it's just part of the wonder and whimsy of this land. Hello, hello, my friends, and welcome aboard the Tinkerbell. My name is Blake, and I will be your captain and lead storyteller aboard today's journey to Storybook Land. While most stories begin by turning the pages of a book, our story today begins by entering the mouth of Monstro the Whale. Whale. tour of Fantasyland, it's time to go see your friend and mine, J. Thaddeus Toad. This is another opening day attraction. Think of how many opening day attractions we've already had. It's parks been open for an hour. We've done Storybook Canal, we've done Snow White, we're doing Toad. It's just, this is just what Disneyland's all about, isn't it? Hello, Mr. Toad. It's a pleasure to see you, my friend. I'm excited to go on your ride. This is definitely a five on the Molly Musty list. treasure and an absolute must do. All right, we knocked out a ton of stuff in Fantasyland first thing. Some people rope drop Rise of the Resistance, but I like to rope drop the storybook canals, you know what I mean? I kind of forget Rise of the Resistance is here, but it is. It's just not on my best day in Disneyland because it's in Disney World. It's time for our first feeding, and I have come specifically to this cart, specifically for one item and one item only. Feast your eyes upon the breakfast chimichanga. So the chimichangas are a cart food here in Disneyland that make me actually furious at how bad Magic Kingdom food is. Um, and spoiler alert, this is not the only chimichanga we're gonna eat today, but this is the breakfast one that they only serve till 11 or until they run out. They literally had two left. Um, and I was able to snag one of the last ones. But there's a meat and a vegetarian version. This is the meat version. And then you got to get your uh, hot sauce with it. Plus, bonus points to Disneyland for selling Topo Chico at some of the cards because I love bubbly water and just A-plus breakfast. I ripped it open so you could see it and so I could add my hot sauce. It's just sausage, potato, egg. And then you got to add this picante sauce. It's so good and so simple. And you have to get it at that cart and they run out. So make sure you get there early, but wow, it's so good. It's a perfect breakfast. 
<laughs> this really is the perfect day because I was just finishing up my delicious chimmy and I looked up at the riverboat here and Princess Tiana's on board. How fun is that? Oh, this is so magical. Hi, Princess Tiana. I'm gonna have some of your beignets later. I will. Did you make those? I can't wait. <laughs> Thank you! You want to see something weird in Disneyland? It's this really old piece of wood that's estimated to be 70 million years old. Um, and it's part of a redwood. And it was given to Lillian Disney in 1957. And I just think it's um, weird, but awesome and very... Just random Disneyland fun things, you know? Random Disneyland thing that I love are these roasty toasties. They're these little guys at some of the popcorn carts that spin the popcorn because they're making it and they're themed to whatever area they're in. And I'm just obsessed with them. I like, I love looking for them. This one's a grave digger, obviously, because we're outside Haunted Mansion. Um, but a few days ago when Haunted Mansion Holiday was happening, it was Oogie Boogie. And they're just so cool. It's such a little Disneyland thing you gotta look for. Unfortunately for Perfect Day, it will be slightly 1% less than perfect because um, I can't ride the Haunted Mansion. I'm here during this weird time where Christmas ended, but they're flipping the Mac mansion back from Haunted Mansion Holiday to regular Haunted Mansion, so I can't ride it today. However, please enjoy these clips of Haunted Mansion Holiday when I rode it over the weekend for the first time, and I bawled my eyes out, and I don't even like Nightmare Before Christmas, but it's like truly absolutely amazing and one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Now it's time to go see Dr. Jones, Indiana Jones, of course, at the Indiana Jones Adventure. This is the best ride in this park, in my opinion. It's so much fun. It's a Disneyland exclusive. Um, well, I guess compared to Walt Disney World. Um, and it's very popular, so I'm glad I have a lightning lane for this one, because it's supposed to 75 minute wait, but not for, uh, not for me right now. Glad to have a lightning lane for this one. Um, it still can be a little bit long, I have found. It still will be like a 15, 20 minute wait, but that's definitely better than 75 minutes. I did a whole video on Genie Plus here in Disneyland versus Walt Disney World. It's a lot easier to use here, so go check that out for all the details on that. close a lot though. Over the few days I've been here it's been down for a lot of technical difficulties so make sure you capitalize on riding it when you can. Book that lightning lane for sure. At this point in the day hotel room coffee isn't cutting it anymore. 
So headed to Galaxy's Edge to get their signature cold brew. But isn't it weird that Galaxy's Edge is here? Like, it doesn't make a lot of sense thematically. Especially because it's not connected to Tomorrowland like I thought it would be. It's connected to Critter Country and Frontierland. But, but that's fine. So anyway, that's where we're going now. Critter Country, Galaxy's Edge. Critter Country, Galaxy's Edge. Weird, right? It's just like, I've got a feeling I'm not in Kansas anymore style here. But like, I am here, but it's different. But it's the same. But it's different. But it's the same. My coffee is ready. Here's the thing about Disneyland's Docking Bay 7 is it's the same. They actually, across the land, they have a few things that are different, but for the most part, the food here is the same. Um, they do have some, they have a Ronto List Ronto Wrap. Alexa, what is a Ronto List Ronto Wrap? According to wikipedia.org, Ron began building fans' base as a drill rapper by releasing music videos Wait, such as With My what? Crew, what? similar no. to something like no. Sneal's uh, Auto Alexa, Rap. Alexa, you're drunk. No, not me. Mm -hmm. Space coffee, space coffee. Look at that space coffee. It's got Cocoa Puffs in it. Whoa. So it's cold brew coffee with sweet cream and Cocoa Puffs. Why California gets cold brew in space and Florida doesn't, I'll never understand. And while it is a little bit sweeter than I normally like coffee, I normally drink black cold brew. It's really fun and it's whimsical, but I can't get it anywhere else. So why would I get regular iced coffee when I could get magical space iced coffee? You know what I mean? It's just so weird because it's like the same, but slightly different in places. Like like this staircase feels wider or maybe it's just less congested. It's, it's very confusing to my brain. Like I'm like, did I teleport to Florida accidentally? No. I did it. Okay, here's something we don't have in Florida. All right, so everyone's gonna be after her too, but after me. I take the one. Hey, Alexa, what is into the resistance by R2-D2, so, wow. This is the perfect day. This is the best thing to happen in Galaxy's Edge, coffee and R2-D2. That was awesome. Hey, Alexa, what is Disney World's favorite food? Guess what, friends? It's time for another feeding. And this time is a legendary location deep in the bowels of New Orleans Square. We are going to the Blue Bayou, which is a sit-down table service restaurant, and it's uh, inside Pirates of the Caribbean. Okay. So it's awesome. And there's a Disneyland classic eat on the menu that you must have on your perfect day at Disneyland. The Blue Bayou sits in the opening scene of Pirates of the Caribbean that Walt Disney World doesn't have when you go through the bayou. And it's just really neat to think, oh, I'm inside one of the best rides in Disneyland right now. And of course, looking at their lunch menu, they've got a lot of great things. They've got jambalaya gumbo, but the real reason you come here is the Monte Cristo. Also, this is, they did start selling alcohol at the sit-down restaurants when the parks reopened or shortly after. Um, They've got a hurricane here since you're in New Orleans Square. They've also got wine and beer, which is something um, that they didn't always do at Disneyland, but there you go. If you'd like to have a cocktail, you can now. 
say hello to the world famous Blue Bayou Disneyland Monte Cristo. This is a fried turkey ham and Swiss cheese sandwich with um, some kind of preserves in it. Currently it's apricot. Uh, when it originated, it was uh, blackberry, but they do change it up from time to time. This is an opening day eat. Um, from this restaurant. This is a classic Disneyland must do. It's got the dusting of powdered sugar on it. It's like a sandwich within a beignet. I mean, it's ridiculous and lovely. Let's cut into it. It's very hard to do this one handed, but I think I did it. Look at that. Look at that. Yum. Mm. Here we go. Oh my goodness. It's like the salty ham, the nutty cheese, the sweetness from the fruit and the cream, plus the crispy fried dough. It's like a heart attack on a plate, but it is so phenomenal. Definitely big enough to share. There's like three pieces of it. This one can be tricky. It might not show up on the menu. Um, they usually don't have it at dinner, so always ask, but reservations are hard to get here, so get those in advance. And I recommend lunch so you can get this baby. Um. You know, eating inside Pirates of the Caribbean really inspired me to want to ride Pirates of the Caribbean. So that's what we're going to do now. It's one of my favorite rides ever. It's probably my favorite ride in the Magic Kingdom, and that version pales in comparison to this one. Plus also, look who's here. Hi, Captain Jack. I'm about to go on your ride. I'm going to go on your ride. <laughs> I'm going to right now. Are you going? Yeah, do you want to come? Yeah. I have a better way in. You do? You're Jack Sparrow. That's right. Captain Jack Sparrow, sorry. Surprising at this point. I don't think we're waiting for that. Yeah. I don't really like waiting in lines. I don't like waiting in lines either. What are you doing then? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can sneak in. Are you going to? Yeah, I'm like, I'm, a, going to I'm a pirate, so. Oh, you're a pirate? Yeah, I'm a secret pirate. Jack Sparrow, give me a port. Give me a port. There's one last thing we have to do in New Orleans Square before we can leave. I bet you know what it is. It rhymes with schmenyes. Alexa, what rhymes with schmenyes? Here are some words that rhyme with mayonnaise. Strays, displays, no, clays, no, no, stays, no, no. Alexa, nowadays. Alexa, stop. If you come to Disneyland, you must eat a beignet. They're the same as the ones at Port Orleans in Disney World, but they're also not the same because they're from New Orleans Square. This is the OG. Um, they have the classic Mickey beignets that you come in a three or a six pack. Um, they have them in juleps, not alcoholic, of course. And then they also have a seasonal beignet. Changes flavor. Right now it's cookie butter. It'll be like peppermint or pumpkin, but I go for the classic myself. Highly recommend mobile ordering here because the line gets very, very, very long. And also mobile order early because there's often times where um, you won't be able to get a mobile order spot for a while because they'll fill out. So. Keep an eye on this because you're definitely going to want a beignet. 
this is my mint julep. It is basically lime and mint and it's refreshing and delicious. There is a strawberry version as well, but I went for the classic. And then here is my three pack of Mickey beignets. These come in three or six packs, like I said. I got the three pack, um, but before we eat, gotta shake it up. And if you look around here, it's just like a graveyard of powdered sugar because there's no delicate way to eat these. They are just doughy, fluffy perfection. I don't have the same trauma with beignets as I do with donuts, but they are just like fluffy perfection. They come warm. Gotta shake them in the bag to get the powdered sugar everywhere. You're gonna look like this, but it's just the best. Mm. Mm. Just embrace the powdered sugar. People call these beignets, I, these, I call them beignets, or beignets, but I like beignets. Um, anyway, here is my mint julep. It is refreshing, citrusy, that little hint of mint. A perfect Disneyland snack. This is probably the most iconic Disneyland snack, so put it on your list. I do a little bit feel like I'm gonna choke and die on powdered sugar, but if this is how I go, then... When Walt Disney said to all who come to this happy place, welcome, I'm pretty sure he meant to this place to eat beignets. So if this is how I go, that's fine. Headed back into Fantasyland to do a couple of cute things didn't do already. It's the middle of the day, so lines are pretty long everywhere. As with most parks, it's peak time of the day. Um, so things are pretty long. That's all right. We're still loving things. We're still loving life. We're still in Disneyland. Jumped in line for Pinocchio's Daring Journey. This is another one of the classic kind of Fantasyland dark rides. Except for this one is of course through the story of Pinocchio, which means it's a nightmare because the donkey boys make an appearance. It's part of my perfect day because all of these sweet little Fantasyland rides are, what can I say? Like the donkey boys are so scary. Also, it literally says jackass in the ride. So that's how you know you're in Disneyland, I guess. Things were different. It was a different time in the 80s when that ride was built. But anyway, I love all the Fantasyland suite and they do get really busy as you can see. So knocking out a bunch of them in the morning if you're gonna buy Genie Plus is really a great little way to do this part. But there's one more cute little thing in Fantasyland I wanna do before we move on to the next. Well, I guess technically still Fantasyland, but before I move on to the less congested part right behind the castle. And that is the Sleeping Beauty walkthrough. There's no restaurant in this one, like Cinderella Castle. There's just this cute little walkthrough exhibit of Sleeping Beauty, like come to life in diorama form.
walk through. Just a nice little thing. It doesn't normally have a line. It's a nice little nightmare to walk through. It's really cute. And if you watch the dioramas, they actually move. Like, people walk quickly. But if you stay there and watch them, some of them move. You'll see the fairies or Maleficent. Now, must come say hello to the wishing well. It's Snow White's wishing well with these beautiful marble statues of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. It's time for the Matahon. This is the first uh, of its kind roller coaster here in Disneyland. And it banged you around. Probably need to go to the chiropractor afterwards, but I still love it and it's still a must do for me. Before we ride, I have to point out this roasty toasty. body and I'm just flailing about in a fun way. I also forget how much of that ride's dark, but it really is, and it's awesome. So ride it if you dare. But now it's been like 16 minutes since we've had a feeding, so it's time to do that again. Earlier I told you we hadn't had our last chimichanga, which is what we in the biz kids call foreshadowing. So I've mobile ordered a chimichanga from Edelweiss Snacks. I recommend getting your chimichangas here because you can mobile order versus that cart we were at earlier, but this one doesn't have the breakfast ones. But we're gonna have ourselves a little chimmy for our next adventure. Say hello to the classic chimichanga. It's literally same thing except for instead of eggs and potato and meat, it's ground beef and beans, and then you gotta get the red sauce to put on it, the picante sauce. It's delish. Hi, Miguel. Do you want a chimichanga? I'll share with you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Look at that. Well, I guess it's got like some red sauce keeping the meat and beans together, and then you gotta put the picante sauce that they have at the condiment table on it as well. It is so simple, and it is so good, and it makes me furious, furious, that this little chimichanga that I bought at a cart where they sell slushies and turkey legs is better than pretty much anything you could get at a quick service restaurant in the Magic Kingdom. Furious. Get it together, Disney World. Why is this so much better? A little crispiness from the shell, but it's also a little doughy, smooth meat, beans. It's just awesome. The randomness of characters will never cease to amaze me at Disneyland. It's Mary Poppins, Jeannie, Merida, and Moana. That makes sense. Hello, Mary Poppins. Good afternoon. How are you on this jolly holiday? I'm having a lovely holiday. I'm happy to hear that. Thank you. So you're not going to see the penguins around, did you? I have not seen the penguins. Perhaps they'll be on the mantle 
sliding down in the belly. They might like that. I'll take a look. Now that we've seen an alphabet soup of characters, it's time to ride one of the classics. It's a small world. joy in my heart after writing Small World. Simple as that. It's just so great. Oh, I love it. Okay. Um, from Small World to a world that doesn't exist in uh, Walt Disney World anymore. Mickey's Maybe. Toontown is alive and kicking here. It is getting very remodeled soon and they're adding Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway here, but for now, Toontown still exists. And even though you can't like go in the houses right now, they've done this very cute thing where the characters are meeting outside. <gasps> Clarice? Ah! How cute! I haven't seen her in 10,000 years. Hi, Clarice! You're so cute! <laughs> I love your outfit, so very sassy. <laughs> Hi, Manny! Your house is so cute! Here we go, we got Oh, we're playing a game. Cutting. Three, three, three words. words. Movie. Movie. Frozen. First word. Three words. <laughs> Jump. Inside. Jump out. Inside. In. 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 Okay. Second word. Love? <laughs> oh, she's oh, that was a picture. In Inside. key drink. 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 Can? Juice. Can. can? In can. In canto. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Yum. <laughs> I'm six years old right now walking through Toontown. I really miss Toontown and Magic Kingdom. I think Storybook Circus is so great and so cute and there's so much detail in there, but going into Mickey and Minnie's houses was the best. And uh, I love this little meet and greet situation they've got going on right now. So I'm glad I could say hi to Mickey. Wouldn't be a perfect day at Disneyland if you didn't say hi to Mickey and Minnie. Now that uh, saw Mickey and Minnie and the gang, it's time to do Roger Rabbit's cartoon spin, which is certainly a ride you can do in Disneyland. It is a wild, wild ride uh, through the Roger Rabbit movie, which admittedly not my favorite, but you know what? If it's unique to Disneyland, I'm probably going to do it while I'm here. Also, they made Jessica Rabbit less... They made her less, if you know what I mean. She's a detective now, so she's got... A full jacket on. You know what I'm saying? And um, I want to see it. I like seeing updates and uh, yeah, you know what? It has lightning lane, so why not? Let's go ride Roger Rabbit's cartoons there.
of all the rides I've done today, that is the most recent. So, also, is there a haunted mansion gag in there? Because at one point you hear like the scream, like the stretch room, and then the next room you go into is a bunch of different stairs, and it feels like it's a haunted mansion gag. But maybe I'm reaching. Let me know. It's time to party in space. Space Mountain time, baby. Now, Space Mountain does have one in Magic Kingdom. It's a little bit different, though, because you sit single-seater, where this one you sit two-by-two. Two. This one has a different soundtrack. A lot of people like this one more. I am not those people. I like Magic Kingdoms better, but I still love Space Mountain, so I'm still going to ride it any chance I get. Um, it's super popular. It has a two-hour wait right now. Yikes! But when you have Lightning Lane in this park, it's a lot easier to use, so let's go ride Space. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie to you, Space Mountain makes me a little nauseous here. I certainly prefer the Disney World one and I know I'm in the minority there, but you know what doesn't make me nauseous and warms my heart from coast to coast? Seeing my main main Buzz Lightyear. So we're gonna ride Astro Blasters now, book the lightning lane. This is their version of Space Ranger Spin, but it's actually a little bit more fun because you can pick the gun up and the targets are different shapes, so you actually know which ones are worth more. So let's go. To infinity and beyond. I am not very good at that one, but it's still so much fun. I love those rides. Um, and now let's go on the train. It's a Disneyland must do. The interesting thing about Disneyland is that it has four train stops, which is more train stops, even though it's a smaller park. And there's one in Tomorrowland, which is kind of fun. Um, there's one in Toontown. There's one in the main entrance, of course, and there's one in New Orleans Square. But I personally like the Tomorrowland of Main Street leg the most because you see dinosaurs, which is very weird, but very hilarious. They're from uh, an attraction that Disney built for the 1964-65 World's Fair, which was the Ford Magic Skyway. It's the predecessor to the People Mover. And uh, there were dinosaurs, so now they're here. Got off the dinosaur train ride, which is just a delight. And look who's here at the train station. This really is the perfect day. The whole gang came from Toontown to say hi. Hi, Minnie. Hi, Kim. Hi, Goofy. How are you? You look so cute! Just your classic look? I do! Thank you! Oh, you're so sweet! <laughs> Good to see you, pal! <laughs> Just the best. You know what? We rode the train. We saw Mickey Mouse. We're going to continue the Walt Disney history moment by scooting into Great Moments with Mr. Lincoln, which, if you've never seen it, I highly recommend another of the World's Fair attractions. But what I want to look at right now is this bench. A bench, Molly. Just a simple little bench. Why do you care? I care because this is the actual bench from Griffith Park. Disney sat, watched his little girls ride a merry-go-round. That's an actual horse from that merry-go-round. And he dreamt of Disneyland. 
and it gives you chills and I might start crying right now because I'm dramatic. I mean, when you, you're in Disney World, you feel it, but when you're in Disneyland, you feel that there was a person that dreamt all this up. Now I'm dramatically crying over a bench. I stepped in to look at the uh, Disney Gallery, which has a 50 Years of the Haunted Mansion um, exhibit right now. I looked at that the last time I was here in detail, but I noticed that they have a Muppets Haunted Mansion exhibit now with actual props and sets from the Disney Plus special, which I adored, and I'm sure a lot of you did too, so I had to show this little treasure. There's just little treasures everywhere in Disneyland. You never know what you're going to find. I love the wallpaper with the characters in it. Oh, so cool. It's been like six min minutes probably in this video since I've eaten. Anyway, it's time to go get dinner at another of my favorite little quick service spots here. This is Bengal Barbecue. It is a little snack stand across from Indiana Jones and the Jungle Cruise, and it has meat sticks. There's a couple different beef ones, chicken, there's a bacon wrapped asparagus, um, and it's really simple, just skewers, but they are so fabulous. Um, I think they're one of my favorite things to eat in all of Disneyland, actually. It's very popular here, so I do recommend using mobile order and placing it early. Um, this is another one that's a small spot like Mint Julep Bar, so it'll fill up fast. Um, so by the time you're actually hungry, it might be a few hours out. So book it early, and then uh, you can always modify it and change it and push it out if, if you're not ready. Here is my tasty spread from Bengal BBQ. Um, this is the spicy beef skewer, the bacon wrapped asparagus skewer. I got extra of the spicy sauce. They give you a lemon to squeeze on the asparagus one. And then this is a tiger tail, which is a cheesy garlic breadstick you can add on. Yum. It's so good. Mm. Tender beef, that sauce actually has a lot of heat, which is fabulous. You don't get a lot of sp actually spicy stuff in Walt Disney World. I think the spice palette is just different out here, but it's actually hot and I love it. I'm gonna get a little nosh of this bacon wrapped asparagus now. Mm. Get the fresh lemon on there, zesty. Perfectly grilled asparagus, crunchiness from the bacon. It's so good. I don't want to say this is healthy, but it's probably healthier than a lot of stuff you eat in a theme park. And last but not least, I'm going to try this tiger tail dipped into my extra spicy sauce. Mm. So it's just a breadstick with cheese and garlic. There's probably other carbs I'd rather eat, but I wanted to try it. This spot, A+. Plus when you're looking for dinner or snack or lunch in Disney. Snack consumed off to Frontierland. Also, please don't yell at me that I didn't eat a Dole Whip in the comments. This is my perfect day. And I can eat Dole Whip in Magic Kingdom. I like to reserve my stomach space for Disneyland exclusive treats. But don't worry, we have another treat coming your way. And yeah, if you've not been before, you don't go frequently, you should absolutely go get a Dole Whip. Go get a Dole Whip and watch the Tiki Room. I don't think you can do that right now with the mask policy anyway, but go get the Dole Whip anyway. Also though, basically the only place Magic Kingdom beats Disneyland is in food. So there's no coconut Dole Whip here, so that's crazy. But anyway, we're headed to ride one more attraction on this perfect, wonderful, fabulous day at the happiest place on earth. We are ending our night. I've been waiting all day to ride this one because it's the wildest ride in the wilderness, Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. It is so fun anytime, but it is super duper the most fun at night. This is once again, the better version of the attraction because the dynamite goat in particular, and I'm very excited to ride this in the evening.
road, Tony. I was just shooting the beautiful castle at night. Isn't she stunning? Even though she's a baby, we love her. Um, and I heard a twinkle noise over here where the princesses normally meet. So I'm following the twinkle noises. Oh, someone's here. I wish I could hear all of This terrible music is nauseating. Silence. The pie is burning! But who are you? My, my name's Molly. Molly? Yes. Sounds like a peasant name. <laughs> Bow, Molly. I, I would curtsy. You would. <laughs> are you alone? Yes, in this moment. Forever alone. <laughs> Just take one of these already. I do like apples. Oh, you'll love this. <laughs> I know you like sleeping from the looks of it. You'll get a lot more. Yes. I uh, saw the Snow Queen over in this like little princess area. They used to do like full meet and greets here in little plays, but now those have characters pop up, normally royal ones. And Snow Queen was like, are you alone? I was like, yeah, right this second. She's like, you look like you're going to be forever alone. Here, take this apple. And then she was like, your uh, outfit says that you probably like to sleep because I'm in leggings. And she's like, you look like you like sleeping. This will help you sleep forever. <laughs> the shade. And we need to have one last treat to seal the deal on this perfect day. It's been pretty wonderful, amazing, and perfect so far, I'd say. But one last Disneyland exclusive treat will really just put the cherry on top of the mountain. That joke will make sense in like three seconds when you see the tree. This is the Jolly Holiday Bakery. And it is a bakery themed after Mary Poppins, so it's very adorable. Um, this is where you can get that iconic grilled cheese and tomato soup and they also have one of Disneyland's most famous desserts. It's the Matterhorn Macaroon! So it's a coconut macaroon um, topped with vanilla icing but look it's shaped like the Matterhorn. Mm. It's a perfect sweet treat to end my day. It is soft and chewy and coconutty. It's very sweet when you bite in with the frosting. So I prefer the bites without the frosting. Mm, it is so good. The coconut lover's dream. And it's just so Disneyland. I love it. Mm. You know, it's been a pretty perfect day at Disneyland. Got to see a bunch of characters, write a lot of my fa Disneyland faves, eat a bunch of delicious, delicious treats. It's been a perfect day. Now I will say a lot of people expect a perfect day to end in fireworks. And I don't blame you, I love fireworks too. Um, however, another way Disneyland is much different than Disney World is they don't have fireworks every night because of their permits. They usually only have it on the weekends. Um, and tonight is a no, no fireworks night. So if you're coming to Disneyland and you must see fireworks, make sure you check the schedule to see what night they're actually doing full fireworks shows uh, as opposed to just little projections on the castle, which are fun. Um, the current fireworks show, they'll do it sans fireworks, so just projections and music. But if fireworks are like a make or break for you on a Disneyland day, make sure you know if they're happening or not during your vacation. There's one last thing we have to do, though. I like to end all of my days in Disneyland Park right here outside the fire station where I say thank you to Walt Disney. Uh, if you don't know that right above this fire station was Walt Disney's apartment here in Disneyland. So he and his family came so often that eventually they gave him his own space. And even though Walt Disney passed away many, many years ago, they keep that lantern on right there in the window all the time as a way to say that he's still here. And now I'm crying in front of it dramatically for probably the millionth time in my life. But uh, probably not the last. 
probably not the first person to do this and I won't be the last either. So I like to end my days at Disneyland just by saying thank you. Well now I'm dramatic and crying, which is just the perfect way to end a perfect day in Disneyland. I had a great day. I hope you had fun follow along. Share your favorite thing about Disneyland down in the comments. Follow us on social media at All Ears Net. And until next time, I'm Molly and it's been magical. Now go watch my best rides in Disneyland. Bye!